Okay, so suit combinations is a big aspect in bridge, playing the cards out correctly, in other words. <clears throat> so there are bits of kit, bits of software out there and websites there to help you. So one uh, piece of software is called Suit Play. So you can download it for free. It's uh, freeware or shareware. I can't remember what it, what it is, but um, you can send an email and you basically get a download link of this guy who's created it and it can install it on your, on your PC or, or Mac or whatever, different versions. But um, let's have a look at this uh, suit combination here. So we've got jack to four spades and ace 10 to four spades. And we've got to think, what is the best play? What is the best way of playing this, this out? So here the goal is to get three tricks, okay? Or here the goal is to get two tricks. So what it's saying is goal to get three tricks, which is what most people would want from this. Um, is a 37.3% chance that you can make three tricks. And to get two tricks, there is a 100% line. So in other words, you can always guarantee yourself two tricks. So if you wanted to get two tricks, is a guaranteed method of making two tricks. And then the last one, MP best, so that's match points. So the best line for match points is saying you should go for A. Okay, so let's have a look. at. So you can choose then which line you want to go for. You can choose B. Or you can choose A. Okay. And if you have a look here, B, it's saying sometimes you'll get three tricks and all the other times you'll get two. So if we have a quick look at B, uh, the play is basically underlines the cards which you should play. So you, you can just click on the keyboard. So you click a two and then it's saying what, what next? It says it doesn't matter what you play, you're always going to get two. So let's play the seven. Now, what it's saying here is that you should play the ace. If you want to make sure you get two tricks, you've got to play the ace. And then you're going to play the eight. The, all of them are underlined, so, okay. And next you'd play uh, the five. So basically what it's saying here, going back one, uh, it's saying that you should play the five next, okay, or the six. Okay, and it doesn't matter what you do. If you put in the nine, you're going to play the jack. If you play the queen, okay, then you just play the three. Okay. And then you play the nine. <clears throat> okay. And now you're going to win with a jack or ten. Okay. So, alternatively, you could choose line A. So, let's just go back. So, if we choose line A, we're going for the 37% chance of trying to get three tricks. So how is it going to play it? So we play the two. This hand now plays the seven. Okay, and now we're putting in the ten. So that's the difference between line A and B. Line B, we put in the ace. Line A, we're putting in the ten. Okay, and then it says doesn't really matter what you do, uh, but most of the time you're going to play the queen, okay? Um... Now what do we do? Okay, so we're over here. We play the three, play the eight, and that's in the right line. It's now to play the ace. Okay, and then the nine pops up. So what I'm saying, and then each time we we'll, we'll get in this condition here, what's left basically? Okay, <clears throat> so it's either this condition is left or this condition. So all the time, every time we play a card, we're getting down to the percentages which are left. So first of all, we had all the percentages. Um, you see, so by not playing that card, we've got all of these these ones that are highlighted in black, the ones that are in bold. If you go back another card, then obviously uh, defense to play. Then there's all these options. Okay, so all the grey ones, the greyed out ones, they're up. They up. Their options. Those options have all disappeared. Okay, because every card that gets played, so it kind of been left to these percentages so that's a good little um bit of software to help you out in your card play you put in the cards that are missing so if we go for a new one so you put in the cards so a common one would be something like um this let's say okay so what it's saying match points the best line is a if we want to get five tricks, okay, then we need to go through a certain line. If we want to get four tricks, then there's an 80, 87, 84% chance that that will happen by playing it a certain way. And if we only want to get three tricks, then there's a 98% chance 
that we can make three tricks. So it kind of depends on how many tricks sometimes you want. But for, for match points, you always want to try, you know, the best lines. So what it's saying here is, so the best line on this card combination will be to play the ace first. Okay, so it doesn't matter which hand you're from. So you could play the four. So if you started off with a four, okay, so then the next card to play would be the ace. Okay, so you're down to that. And let's say you start off in dummy again, or let's say the bottom, the south hand is the dummy hand, you'd start off playing the five. Okay, and then it's saying play any. So you play the nine. And now it's saying the best thing to do is take the finesse. Okay, and you can see all the black, the bold ones here, it's saying which cards, which, which um, combinations are left. So there's only four possible combinations now that are that are possible. Okay. So we play the jack, and then we'll play the 10, let's say, so the finesse works. Okay. And now we're down to, obviously, only these two options. Well, actually, this option is now out the window, really, because, if let's face it, if East had the queen, they would have played it. So re realistically, we're down to this one option here. Okay, so that's um, a good little bit of uh, software that you can use uh, to help you out with your card play and just test out uh, the best ways of playing the cards. Okay, so I hope that helps you. Suit play, it's called.